Hello, everyone, and welcome to Seriously Loco, the Seriously Crazy Fan Podcast for El Paso Locomotive FC. Uh, I'm your host, Phil Baki. I'm joined tonight by Mika Burrell and Christian Canales. Mika and Christian, what's up? We're back. I know. Back, <laughs> back in the lab. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time like it felt like the longest off season ever definitely and we still got a ways to go but we're yeah unfortunately give the people some of that hashtag content so we got a good one tonight. <laughs> yeah and we got a very special a very special one tonight um uh, we uh have some some new faces in town um some new locos uh on the block so the first uh of those of those new faces to join us tonight Aiden Apodaca. Aiden, welcome to the show and welcome to El Paso. Thank you so much. I'm super excited to be here. Get, get the ground running. Yeah, I mean, you are like, this is, uh, I guess, Dylan uh, Maris had the had the honor last year of being the first new signing. So you're uh-huh. you're the first of the 2021 editions. Uh, not a bad start, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, Aiden, I, I'm, I was interested uh, reading uh, up on you and just kind of figuring out, you actually have history with El Paso. Yeah, um, actually, I, I saw my uncle this past week, so my my uncle's still, still here. But yeah, my dad was actually born and raised in El Paso, and I've, I've visited a couple times, you know, visiting family. So it's I'm, I'm back where he was and it's, it's meaningful to, to him and, and to me. That's, that's really cool. I, I, I'm interested, like, do you have any memories from back then of, of El Paso or anything that like sticks in your mind about the, about the city or, or your time? There? Um, probably the first one would be Whataburger. So we, we don't have those out <laughs> oh my we don't God. Have those in uh, California. So every time we, we came to El Paso, the first thing we do is, is hit the water burger. I, Let him know, Mika. Let him know. <laughs> Aiden, no, uh, we were joking beforehand. Like, do we give him? Do we hit him with the water burger versus in and out question, or is that like totally not right? The <laughs> fa- that's so funny. <laughs> I, I catch a lot of heat back at home for this, but I think in and outs kind of overrated. Oh, oh yes! Aiden's oh my God! The goat right now. Aiden. The listeners will love that. Aiden, you were you were born to play for Locomotive. Like you don't yeah. understand the amount of credit you've just gained with <laughs> with the eighth notch. Um, nice. The uh, you got a great start going. Yeah, incredible. <laughs> Derek, I don't, I don't know. Maybe Derek is uh, hooked you up with a good a good coaching session uh, prior to this interview, but it's it's work to treat. Um, oh my god, that's awesome. Okay, um, so I'm interested. Like, obviously, you have a connection to El Paso. So uh-huh. this off season, you're you know leaving Reno, and you get the call that El Paso is interested, and and all that like. What's your reaction? What what was going through your mind? And then how how quickly did it progress from there? Um. So so yeah, I, I was aware that there was interest, and uh, you know, I I told my mom first because I didn't want to tell my tell my dad at first. I didn't want him to to you know get head over heels because you know off season anything can really happen. But um, once things started to progress, I told him, and then he was, he was the one that actually was holding off on telling the family and then things started to keep going, keep going. And then to the point where, where I was signed and, uh, and all my family was, uh, reaching out to me, everybody on, on Facebook, on Instagram, but, but it, it was good. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm happy to be here and I'm happy, you know, I, I got family that are, that are pushing behind me and they're also happy. They're going to, hopefully visit visit and get some games out here that's yeah that's really that that's really cool i mean the connection did that did that help with the deal like you obviously it seems like you were pretty excited about about the prospect of playing in el paso oh for sure you know um being here a few times and and there was there was always that thought that you know that'd be that'd be such a cool and meaningful thing to, to to play where you know my 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 dad grew up and where my family is. And I think that that adds a lot of a uh, kind of sentiment behind it. That's awesome. I want to ask you, Aiden, about you as a player. I mean, obviously, Locomotive, you know, we've gone to two Western Conference finals, but I think something that the fans have wanted is more goal scoring. And I think we're excited that we think you'll bring that. But 
what kind of forward do you consider yourself? Are you kind of like a penalty box striker or a false nine? Do you like to link the play? Um, a little bit of all that. Do you like to play wide? Like, how do you how do you describe your game? Um, my game is definitely getting behind that line. Um, I I mean, I consider myself uh, a faster player, but um, I'm I try to try to use my movement because I'm you know I'm not as tall. I'm not as I'm not as big, but I use my movement to get kind of behind the defense, whether that's for myself or to get in position to to assist you know my my teammates. So that that could be, you know, running the channels that could be, you know, starting from the inside and then heading to the corner, getting something out of that or or, you know, where where our team's driving. And then I'm I'm darting in behind trying to trying to get on a breakaway. Nice. I think our I think our fans will really love that. <laughs> um, well, and with uh, with a, a playmaker like Dylan as well, I think I think that that partnership you know is something the fans will certainly look for uh -huh. do you know do you know dylan as a player at all yeah actually my 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 first uh training session or our first one of our our smaller training sessions uh i i realized quickly that you know dylan dylan's a very technical player and attacking minded so that's always you know that's great as a forward to see that so you, you'd, i think you mentioned just now that you have had some training sessions how i don't know how big those have been but can you tell us anything about what Mark's plans are for you tactically? I mean, we've got Luis Solanyak who came in, you know, in this off season. Of course, mm -hmm. Leandro Carrijo and, and Josue Aron Gomez. How do you think you'll fit in with that forward line? Do you think you'll be playing off a bigger striker, or or does Mark have you wide? Or are you still kind of feeling that out for now? Um, you know, it's been limited tactically, so we haven't fully, you know, dove into that, but. Uh, the sessions have just been kind of kind of getting our touches in and playing and kind of getting that competitive that competitive edge back because I know off season it's it's harder to, to you know to to play with other people obviously with this past off season off season that we just had so I think it's just getting our legs under us and getting acclimated. How how tough has that been like in the early stages of this off season in particular where it just seems like it's been really long and obviously last season was kind of stop start and then really crazy like how's that how's that been kind of getting back into the swing of things Um you know this this off season was was kind of tougher cuz you like southern california you have it's it's such a big you know small or uh, smaller area of uh, soccer hub so it was always easy, you know, before to find players to, to play against. You could you could play, you know, small sided or 11s, you know, any day of the week. But definitely this past off season, you, you didn't see as much of that. So it was it was tough to 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 find places to um, to be competitive and to, to get that edge. So so that was one of the tougher things of this past off season. I'm interested uh like joining from another Western conference team and, and obviously having some experience playing against locomotive and, and preparing to play against locomotive. I'm interested. What kind of reputation does the team have outside of um, outside of, you know, from an opposition standpoint? Um, um, yeah, definitely that El Paso loves to play. Uh, you know, it's, you know, I remember seeing highlights of, you know, El Paso building it out of, out of their own box and while while other teams are pressing them and they're still you know they're still playing it around they're not lumping along and you know that that's a that's a good thing to have is a, a team and a coach that that wants to possess the ball that wants to keep the ball so i remember coming here um two years ago where you know i i as a forward i couldn't even touch the ball where i, I felt like i was just chasing i was running around in circles so so hopefully i'll, I'll be a part of that now <laughs> is that uh is that part of too with with mark having this kind of distinctive style and and kind of putting his stamp on el paso is that something that that also kind of attracted you about about coming to play um does does the manager have a, a draw in and of itself oh definitely and and i could tell you know very right away even from seeing like I like like I said again, highlights or or pictures, videos that that he's passionate and he cares so much about the game and and that's really all you want as a player, a, a coach who's like I said passionate. 
but one that loves to play and and wants to keep going. Aiden, do you have um any sort of history with anyone at the club right now is like playing, maybe playing in college against them or ever playing like in any sort of youth tournament against anyone. Do you have any sort of. Um, not really. Uh, me and Niall actually know, know a couple of the same guys, but, um, memo from last year, I actually played, it's funny. Uh, we actually played, um, Nevada state cup. I think it was after my, my freshman season. <laughs> where we were still young enough to be able to do that. So so I knew Memo from back then. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. And it, we're, we're obviously, we haven't had a chance to necessarily talk about, about Memo's departure, but uh, but off to play in Oakland and should be an interesting interesting opportunity for him uh, to get Definitely. to get some some minutes. <clears throat> um, that, that's pretty cool. Uh, now that you have moved, you know, down to Texas uh-huh. and you're down in El Paso, what are you most looking forward to about Texas? And were you expecting to be greeted with snow in El Paso? Um, I, I definitely wasn't ready. Um, <laughs> I remember, I remember, uh, I was leaving my, my apartment to go get groceries and, and, uh, my, there was actually ice on my windshield. So I had to sit in my car and wait for, for the defrosters to go on to clean it. I don't, I don't own a scraper, never owned a scraper or anything. So I wasn't prepared for that. Neither are most of us to be fair. Yeah. Yeah. You're not alone in that. I don't think, um, that's a uh, pretty commonplace. Um, uh, El Paso. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure what happened. Um, but you got, you got greeted with the, <laughs> with the winter weather. Um, Maybe just maybe just a you know a harsh reality for for a Californian coming down to Texas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I I woke up and I I opened my uh my balcony door and I saw I saw the snow and I closed it. I said nope. <laughs> so close it real quick. Have you guys have you guys trained uh, through the weather at all, or is it just like strictly workouts uh, with the snow on the ground? Um. So we didn't train that day, but. But the next day we, we pushed it back. So the snow would all melt and it was, it was gone quickly. Yeah. Makes sense. I've got a silly one. I mean, you, you'd started at the top of the show, Aiden, with Whataburger. We love that already, but has there been, what's the best thing you've eaten in El Paso so far? I know you know, dine-in is somewhat limited given COVID, but have you had anything good from anyone local um, here? Uh, my uncles actually took me out to to uh to get a steak so that was probably probably the best thing at a okay. great great american steakhouse all right house. solid solid yeah. on the yeah. west side so you... uh west side yeah gotcha so <laughs> that's probably been my best meal i haven't been eating out too much so just make just kind of making everything here haven't haven't had my water burger yet so oh my goodness that's Get on that man that's that's because he knows he knows mark's gonna listen and he's gonna be looking for him <laughs> cheating on his on his off-season <laughs> diet <laughs> probably so yeah you gotta uh, i we understand so aiden your secret's safe with us um yeah. gotcha. <laughs> but, but i've been looking uh for some tacos so if anybody knows some a good recommendation I mean, just throw a rock in whatever building it hits first, <laughs> man. <laughs> well, for real though, who? What do we like? I like tacos on Cuco. That's always solid. Or Chinampa. <laughs> actually, I actually live right next to one of those. There you go. There you go. Problem solved. <laughs> Aiden, I heard from our friend Duke Keith that you're an Arsenal fan. Can you confirm? uh confirmed yes may, all may right be. i'm a i'm a gooner as well so <laughs> yes. you gotta hang out with us border cannons at uh rock and cigar bar that's where we watch the matches i'll, I'll definitely on. be out there i will <laughs> definitely be out there perfect perfect <laughs> so mika now you have permission to ask all your arsenal related questions uh <laughs> go for it i've got <laughs> plenty of opinion and <laughs> No, no, no. I think I think we have our Mikel Arteta and Mark Lowry, don't you think? I think there's a lot of similarities. <laughs> Definitely. Young and, and you know, hungry. Want to yep. possess the ball, all that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely. So uh yeah, I guess favorite favorite player, um 
uh, you know, from Arsenal, who, who's your, who's your favorite ever Arsenal player ever? Uh, oh, that's gotta be Thierry Henry. If any, if anybody has any other answer, that'd be, I don't know if I can consider them, uh, <laughs> well, I figured I figured given you, you know, given your your style to uh Thierry would probably be the the pick. Uh, yeah, I mean, man, I could I could open up YouTube any day and just just watch him, you know, score goals all day. <laughs> That's so uh, good. Yeah, uh, is I'm, would you say he would have been your like idol, I guess, uh, you know, when you were growing up, like what who who did you kind of like watch as as a model um obviously Terry Henry and also Didier Drogba you know Drogba was one of my although he played for Chelsea but I remember watching a Champions League final where he just you know took the game into his own hand scored a header to tie it against Bayern and then and then bury the the winning penalty so watching watching both of those you know growing up it's it's it was well, it was uh, an inspiration. So hopefully I, I can emulate their game as much as I can. That's awesome. If you, I mean, if you can get anywhere close to what DDA did in, in USL, you will be a club legend. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll try my hard, hardest scoring, you know, no goals from 40 out <laughs> off a free kick. <laughs> You know, obviously everybody's got like, especially strikers have their, have their signature celebrations, how they, how they celebrate their goals. What's what, what can fans expect if you put one in the back of the net at, at Southwest University Park? Oh man, I kind of just do things on the fly. Like, uh, last year at, at San Diego, uh, me and, uh, Foster Langsdorf, we had, we would do it in training all the time, the Lacazette and uh, Bummy Yang handshake. So I Love saw it. him and I knew immediately what I had to do, but I like to just, you know, do it on the fly. But may I suggest jumping into the nets? Fans, <laughs> you, you get some really good photo ops from that too. Yeah. Jumping into the net. <laughs> yeah. The, the, end, yeah. The, the foul ball nets that they keep up there. It's that, the, that's the place to be. <laughs> it's the only, uh, yeah, it's, it's the one, the perk of playing in a baseball stadium, I guess. Like, uh, yeah, we get the, uh, the hanging sim, not dissimilar to like, I mean, I guess if you watch like Italian or German <laughs> soccer, uh-huh. like the cages, uh, you oh, know, yeah, pitch side or whatever <laughs> that they'll climb up. Um, yeah. So it's kind of, kind of our version and i know the the iconic moment last season was distel zola uh scoring the penalty against new mexico in the uh uh-huh. in the uh quarterfinal or you know the western conference semis uh to to go to the the finals but yeah right um yeah hanging off the nets in front of eighth notch uh always a, <laughs> always a good side um but i i, I mean i think that's that's kind of the more natural uh, reaction and not having something planned out uh, is always, uh-huh. is always, you know, I think that's just the side of the uh, intensity around, you know, the moment uh-huh. and just like, in, you know, doing what, doing what comes natural. Yeah. That could be the go-to then. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of eighth notch, have you had a chance to meet anyone in the supporters group yet? Uh, I have to them, not. Maybe on Twitter. No, I haven't. <laughs> well, they they are the best supporters in, in USL. I think you'll really enjoy playing for them, to be fair. Nice. I'm excited to play in front of them and, and like you said, meet them. Well, Aiden, uh, any any closing message to to the fans? Uh, anything that they can expect from you uh, in the coming in the coming USL season? Um, score goals and and obviously with the with the short short history of El Paso, you know, not letting off the gas and, you know, keep going and we're hungry for more and, you know, we're, we're not going to stop at the, at a conference final. So we won't, we want it all bring that trophy to El Paso. Love it. Hell yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Well, Aiden, I mean, it's been an absolute pleasure getting to meet you um, and and well. obviously welcome. Welcome to El Paso. We're super excited to see what you can bring uh, to the squad and just really excited about how it's coming together this off season. Um, so we look forward to to watching you ply your trade out there at the swap, as we call it. Of course, I'll be I'll be ready and I'll be excited. Thank you guys for having me on. I appreciate it so much. Awesome. Thanks Thank again, you. Aiden. Of course. No problem. That was Aiden Apodaca joining Seriously Loco um, for a quick episode uh, today, highlighting the new signing at Striker for uh, for El Paso. 
Um, very excited about what Aiden can bring to the team. And I think his excitement around playing in this side and his enthusiasm for goal scoring and, and making a difference in this team. And I mean, you heard it. They're hungry for a championship. Um, they're hungry to go one step further, get to a final and win a final um, as a team. And it's already becoming a stated goal in, in just the very first interview of the season. Um, we are back as well. Seriously, Loco. So if you've enjoyed, um, please uh, follow us on Twitter at Seriously Loco. You can also find our podcast anywhere you uh, find podcasts, basically iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, all are available on the table. There are even more apps out there that you can find us. Um, so please seek us out. Subscribe if you can. Um, if you enjoyed, please leave a rate and review um, if the platform allows it. And uh, yeah, we're very excited to be back. Um, you can tell the players are excited to be back. And we'll have more content coming out uh, as the, the preseason progresses and we'll be introducing you to the new locos, talking to some some familiar faces, and we'll be uh, we'll be back with more of the full episodes and analysis that you guys have enjoyed. So hopefully um, this finds you well, uh, and hopefully we will be talking to you very very soon. And until next time, stay loco.